Hay confianza, campeón. So our first sighting of the defending Olympic bantamweight champion, the 54 kilogram division, and the man all in red representing uh, Cuba is he's just 23 years of age, Guillermo Rigondo Ortiz. Rigondo, we'll call him. Won the gold medal for Cuba four years ago in Sydney. And a year later, he became the world champion in Belfast. Didn't have too much luck in the world championships of last year. Was beaten by the eventual gold medalist, Mamadov from Azerbaijan. But at 23 years of age, he still should have plenty left. He's just taking his time, nothing too fancy. His opponent, incidentally, is the 24-year-old from China, Huan Liu. So Cuba in red, China in blue, bantamweight the division, and the man in red is the defending Olympic champion. Nice and patient stuff at this early stage from Guillermo Rigondo. Two points up now. Great little boxer. What a super shot that was uh, around the guard of the, of the Chinese fighter from Rigondo. Superb. Very quick. Whipped it in. And with his hand quite low, then it's, it's hard to see that punch because it actually starts off from his hips, more or less. But it whips it in around the guard. Great little shot. He uses that southpaw right of his very effectively, not just in terms of attack, but in terms of defence by keeping his man away from him. There's that quick left coming across, didn't land that time. You get the feeling that Rigondo is looking for a big shot here. The man who beat him in last year's World Championships was the man who he beat in the final in Belfast, who had uh, switched the legions from being Turkish to Azerbaijani. This is Guillermo Rigondo Ortiz. And again, we've got to say that the Cubans take their mother's maiden name and pop it on the end of the family name, hence uh, Mario Kindelan Mesa and Felix Sabron Fabre. Well, good work from Rigondo. Totally in control. And there's that shot there. Super. Delivered with the speed of a striking snake. Yeah, very. Well, what he did there, he actually, um, just, just prior to that, he went for the body, a little faint to the body, and that 
made the Chinese fighter think, well, is he going downstairs? And then he whips it over the top and catches his opponent. Lovely I think, shot. I think we'll see a little bit more of them in this round. A very gentle start for the defending Olympic bantamweight champion, Guillermo Rigondo from Cuba in the red. He's conceded a point at the start of the second round, having outscored his opponent, Juan Liu from China, 4-0 in the opening round. But I think he's just uh, still got the handbrake on at this stage. New orthodox boxer, taller, longer reach, can't quite match the hand speed, though, of Rigondo. Into the body yet again, does that so beautifully. And again, there's that round the corner right hand, just clips his man around the ear, but it's a, considered a scoring punch by the judges at ringside. What Rigondo is doing here, he's just do co total counter-punching on the back foot, waiting for his opponent, his reactions are so good. His vision is superb, waits for his opponent to come and then whips that right hook in, there it is again. Oh, superb boxing, but the, you've got to get the timing spot on. And with the Cubans, <laughs> there's not so uh, many things they don't do well. Had to qualify, remember, 11 boxers out of a full complement of 11 here. And just Cuba and Russia. And Russia, well, were the more successful nation of the two in the World Championships in Bangkok last year. And the Cubans have been stung by the criticism, and a lot of people saying is... Uh, Cuban boxing on the slide and they've come here to Athens determined to uh, throw that back in a few faces and they need their top men to perform and this is one of their top men one of the three defending Olympic champions from Cuba that's what I like about the Cubans uh, they seemed sometimes I mean this guy looks looks a little bit lazy and then all of a sudden he looks slow and then or oh, then he can just explode in, in, into, into punching and, and the punches are so fast, accurate, powerful, and his footwork, look how he just eases out of the way there. Superb. Well, Liu is boxing very cleverly because he's actually, uh, although he's showing him a fair degree of respect, he's not overawed. Oh, fast hands once again from Rigondeau right at the end of the round. And uh, a lot of it was uh, going backward and leaning away from his opponent, and he suddenly found a couple of little arm extensions and landed uh, with rights and lefts and has uh, turned this one round again. 4-0, then 7-2. So he's getting better all the time. Yeah, some great boxing there, just bringing his opponent onto a little left uppercut there. But there's that right hand, and there's the left uppercut. Great vision and just keeps the gap. Doesn't want to get work on the inside. He, he, he'd much rather work at medium and long range and keep the guy at bay because he's got superior skills. And uh, if we looked at the end of the round here, Jim, you know, he's not even breathing heavy. Effortless, superb. Now, this is interesting. Guillermo Rigondeau from Cuba in the red, the defending Olympic champion, has come out uh, pretty briskly at the start of this round. He had a very quiet opening round. Louis outpointed his Chinese opponent, who's done a pretty fair imitation of a forward roll. Uh, Juan Liu, uh, four points to nil, won the second round 7 2. And here's uh, Guillermo Rigondeau in the third round 11 3 up. So Liu has uh, pulled back a point. Is Rigondeau going to stand for that piece of impudence? Well, we'll wait and see. Liu was runner-up to a, a very good Pakistani boxer, Mehar Ula, in the Huangzhou qualifier in China in March. Rigondo won the gold at the Pan American Games away last year. Beat Abner Maras of uh, Mexico to qualify here for Athens, hoping to emulate his great feats in Sydney of four years ago. Again, great defensive skills from the Cuban. Liu, he, he, he must be so frustrating for him because he's trying different things, he's trying to pin his man down. But uh, it's a case of if you make a mistake against the Cubans, you, you get punished. And that's what Liu, uh, if he makes any mistakes here, he's getting, he's getting caught with shots. And, but you've got to just admire the, the skill of the Cubans and the defensive work, the footwork. Superb. 
well, we've gone for, what, a minute and a half yet, and the uh, referee who's from Germany, Eric Drecker, has said, come on, let's get on with the boxing. We've gone for a minute and a half, and that's the first scoring shot, and two in a row that Rigondeau landed, and he was being very negative. That's another one on the turn. His man wasn't facing him correctly. I'm not sure that was right on the target area, which has got to be the front of the side of the head. Rigondeau's opened up a 10-point gap. It was uh, nine at the start of the round. Little glimpses there, and I just get the feeling he's keeping so much in reserve. <laughs> he certainly is. I mean, he's just working. He's just dictating and controlling the fight with the, with the pace. And especially the distance. He's just keeping his distance from this guy, and uh, he's in another league. Well, it looks as if he's just out for a stroll to get the Sunday papers. He just tootled back to his corner and doesn't even bother sitting down. What can Juan Lu do in this last round? I don't think very much. Just try to stay in touch. Well, yeah, he's got to try and stay in touch, and he's certainly got to do something different, Jim. Maybe up the tempo, maybe try, try and sustain the attack, try and keep on the Cuban. This is the Olympics, you know, he's, he's got to try something different. But it must be frustrating for him, because he's a good fighter himself, but he's just in with a guy who is at the very top. A close third round in which the man from the blue corner ran the man from the red corner pretty evenly. Ten points up, though, the defending Olympic champion from Cuba in this bantamweight division, Guillermo Rigondo Ortiz. Quan Liu from China has put in a more than good performance and against any other boxer than Rigondo, he probably would have got close enough to him to score. Rigondo, well, you may think he was being a little bit on the negative side. He hasn't stood still long enough. And I guess the old adage in boxing, oh, look at that, one, two, three, hello, now you see me, now you don't. Liu's trying to catch up with them. And Rigondo, as we've seen so many occasions in the past in the World Championships in Belfast three years ago and before that in uh, Sydney, he can stand and box and fight if he has to. He prefers to move and stab and frustrate. Good solid body shot by Rigondo, just delivered it beautifully with the left hand. Just a minute to go. It's very hard to judge this performance by Rigondo because you could say, well, he's been unconvincing because he, because he hasn't got the man out of the way uh, early on, but he's obviously uh, trying to just ease himself into this tournament. Yeah, he's just in second gear, he really is, and that footwork earlier was just absolutely superb, you've got to say. So classy, never really, never flustered in any, in any real way. And we look at him, him here, superb shots there going in from him. Three in a row, all of them scored, 19-6 to uh, Rigondo. Hasn't thrown too many meaningful shots to the head so far, so maybe he's just uh, letting one or two opponents think that that's all he's got. They know better than that. He's got lots more. Such hand speed. I mean, there, his feet are very, very static, but his hand speed is superb. And then when he wants to, he can get on his bike and produce that footwork that we've seen earlier. To be a great amateur, you've got to be able to do it all, and this kid can. And there's a, a serious touch of arrogance about him as well. Well, he's coasted this one. The defending Olympic champion, Rigondo, 21-7. Juan Liu from China will have learned a fair a bit from that one. But this fella hasn't even broken sweat, and he hasn't even bothered smiling. And he knows that he's got plenty more to come. Very impressive in, in a hugely understated way, I think. Well, there was never going to be any great doubt as to who was going to win this contest, but I think Guillermo Rigondo Ortiz, the defending Olympic champion, is keeping an awful lot in reserve. Good effort by the Chinese representative.
Judge number two is from Greece, 